Welcome to YZ All. In this video, we will walk you through the important economic terms. When you are going for an interview process, one of the question of the interview can be that what is the specialization that you are looking for? And if you are going to say that it's finance, then they can throw up some of the economic terms. And if you are able to answer those terms, then it can create a very good impression during the interview. Uh, before moving further, I would also request you to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for not missing up any video that will come. Fiscal policy. It is the mean through which country control its revenue and expenditure to achieve economic objectives. Way of doing so, taxation, government spending. Then we have monetary policy. Monetary policy is the policy through which monetary authority of the country controls the supply of money. This can be done by changing the interest rate or by changing the money back money bank need to keep. We have made a separate video on the different monetary policy. You can watch it. The link will be provided in the description. Opportunity cost is the loss of revenue when one alternative is chosen. Then we have balance of payment. Balance of payment is the record of all economic transaction between the residents of the country and the rest of the world in a particular period. Then we have balance of trade. It is the difference between value of country's import and its exports in the given period. Then we have GDP or gross domestic product. It is the market value of all the finished goods and services produced within the country in a particular time period. GDP is calculated as C plus I plus G plus NX, where C is the private consumption, I is the investments, G is the government spendings and NX is the net trade. Then we have GNP or gross national product. It is the market value of all the products and services produced in one year by labor and property supplied by the citizen of a country. Then we have real versus nominal GDP. In a real GDP, values are adjusted for inflation, whereas in nominal, it is not so. Now we will look at the types of industries. The first is monopoly. It is characterized by a single seller of a product or commodity with no close substitute. Monopoly has high barriers to entry which protect it from competitors and empowers them to choose the price at which they want to. Then we have perfect competition. It refers to the market in which many firms produce identical products. Barriers to entry are low and firms compete with each other only by price. Then we have monopolistic competition. It is different from perfect competition in that products are not identical. There is differentiation based on product quality, product features and marketing. Then we have mo monops only. The concept is similar to monopoly except that a large buyer and not the seller controls a large portion of the product and drives the prices. Now we will look at inflation and the types of inflation. Inflation is defined as the sustained increase in the general level of prices and goods. Inflation rate is equal to present price index minus last price index divided by last price index. Inflation. Uh, First of all, we look at the price index. There are basically two types of price index that is used to call, um, calculate inflation. The one of them is wholesale price index and the second one is consumer price index. Now we look at the types of inflation. There are basically three types of inflation. First is deflation. Well, this is the condition when the prices uh, goes down. Then we have stagflation and then we have hyperflation. Now we will look at the types of deficit. One is fiscal deficit. It is an economic phenomena where a government total expenditure exceeds the revenue that it generates. Then we have revenue deficit. It is the situation where the net amount received is less than the amount predicted. Then we have primary deficit. Primary deficit is equal to fiscal deficit minus interest payment. Now let's see some of the terms of economics. The first is the economics of scale. They are the cost advantages that enterprises obtain due to size, output or a scale of operation with cost per unit of op output generally decreasing with increasing sales as fixed costs are spread out over more units of output. Diseconomies of sale. They are the focus that cause large firms and government to produce goods and services at increase per unit cost. The, the concept is the opposite of economies of scale. Examples 1. Communication. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching it. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you.